Hey YouTube and fellow Bright Line Eaters. Um, I am hopping on here before I eat this beautiful meal that I just made um, to make a quick video to share something with you that I am I just realized earlier today. Um, so first I'll show you, I just got back from the grocery. Yay, so many good bright foods around here. Um, so, okay, here's what I want to share. I am Xing off my days, my bright line eating days, and I just got to X off number 15 today. And it has felt um, pretty smooth. Um, and I just realized it's, it's in large part because like I have told you all so many times, um, that we want to, everything that we have in place to stay bright, we want to keep it in place. But then also, um, so the water, the accountability, my friend Diana, that I email her my food every single night and that I've committed to her that if I make any changes at all, that I've got to email her those changes. So a lot of times I don't make any changes cause I don't want to have to send an email. Um, writing the food down the night before, having good foods around, um, having an emergency action plan, the list goes on and on. But something else that I think has really attributed to me making it now, I'm working on day 16 right now. Before this, I had gone about 70 days of perfectly bright. Um, scratch that, probably about 60 because of what I'm about to tell you. Um, and then before that, I just had some months where it seemed like I was binging a couple times a month. I don't know. Let me introduce myself. My name is Emily Myers. I'm a faithful follower of Christ. I follow um, Bright Line Eating as a plan to help me manage my food, sugar, and binging addiction. Um, I am down around 95 pounds in roughly uh, 14 months. I don't know. Um, super life-changing. Um, so... I'll go ahead and tell you now, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll chat quickly about, um, what the title of this video is, the gateway non-drug, and then I'll show you this meal and I will tell you about two of my go-to, um, foods that I love to eat. So, um, okay. Gateway. When we think of gateway, we think of gate, I do, I'll speak for myself. I think of gateway drug. So I could see where, you know, when you're a kid, people are like, don't smoke cigarettes or don't do this or don't, that'll lead, it'll lead to more drugs. One drug will lead to another drug. Um, so that's what I think of when I think of gateway. I think of like one drug leading to another drug. So one uh, clearly bad thing leading to another bad or worse thing. But I want to share that um, what finally after 57 days is what it was because um, I am working to right, earn these little chips right there. My little, that's my beginning. That's my 30 day chip. This is funny. Um, from Celebrate Recovery. I made it to 57 days and then binged. But what started about day 50 was allowing myself some measured extras. So like I would finish dinner and then I'd want just a little something extra, right? That is the nature of addiction. That is uh, addiction is a disease of more, wanting more, not being satisfied. Enough is never enough. Um, that's why I love in this journal, um, at the bottom it says, I commit to eating only in exactly what I've written down for today. I trust that my food will be enough. Um, there is a lot of peace in finding peace with enough. So one night I told my husband, I was like, oh my gosh, there's still so much work left to do tonight and I need more energy, right? No, I don't. No, I didn't. And um, so I had four more ounces of this burgers that we'd made. Harmless. Seemed harmless. And there were no n immediate consequences. Um, I'm, I'm noticing a pattern. A lot of consequences are delayed, sometimes days, sometimes weeks. 
Um, and this was one of those that was delayed almost weeks because a few nights later after that, and, and by the way, I've lost enough weight that I can tell my body's getting a little hungrier. And so I'm like, hey, Susan Pierce Thompson tells us to add food in. Okay, but not like this, not like that, not like, not willy nilly as she calls it and not um, sort of off the cuff and not in the moment when I am not thinking with my prefrontal cortex, I have not planned this out. I have not, um, specifically and purposely and intentionally added food back in. Um, I'm not there yet. I'm not ready to add food back in. I'm still landing this plane. I'm still losing weight. Um, so for me to just kind of off the cuff decide I'm going to eat more is a problem and it led to me doing it again and then again. And then I did it a day on a day where I was feeling terrible and um, exhausted and I've told you guys the story that I had to drive unexpectedly on a road trip. So I had a, a measured extra that um, was like the levee breaking and the water just flowed. So I wanna encourage you to be on the lookout, just be aware of gateway non-drugs, just gateways, just anything that opens the gate to your addiction getting what it wants. Um, consider these little cracks, like a like a, a levee, am I saying that right? Like a wall holding water back. These little tiny things are so significant. And what's so sneaky about them is that they seem insignificant, but it is those itty bitty little cracks that put, uh, that, that, um, damage the integrity of the infrastructure that we're working hard to build. So um, these itty bitty little cracks, they were in place. They were in place for me um, for the moment that I was ready to just binge and partake in my drug. And had those cracks not been there, I don't think I would have been as susceptible. I know I wouldn't have so susceptible to just completely um, uh, breaking, breaking. And, um, and I even had, like I said, on that road trip, I had one of my, it was peanuts. We're back there. There they are. Those, those peanuts and those shells. Um, I allowed myself a certain number of them because it was measured as if, as if I've lost enough weight or done this for long enough that I can handle, um, stepping outside my program, stepping outside my lines. No, no, I cannot. That is the nature of addiction that I will never be, um, cured. I'll never be cured of what, uh, of what my brain will, will always, always want, which is more, 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 um, And so I had a measured amount of those and guess what? That measured amount was not enough. And guess what my brain wanted more? Um, I just blew it. Guess what my brain wanted after I had those more. So again, be on the lookout for gateway, gateway behaviors, gateway behaviors that are not drugs per se, but they're just behaviors that would lead you to your drugs. There would be cracks, um, in, in your infrastructure that, um, would, um, leave you susceptible and vulnerable to a major break. So, um, there is all that. Um, and let me show you this meal I'm about to eat. Let's see here. Two ounces of natural peanut butter, six ounces of apples with cinnamon, six ounces of sugar snap peas and carrots, two ounces of guacamole, and two ounces of salsa. These are some of my very favorite meals that are just like something you would eat at like a, I don't know, like finger foods. Um, quick and easy. I'm actually home right now, enjoying this quiet house. My husband just took six kids um, out to dinner. Brave man. So, um, all right, I'll show you a few little things here. Uh, here is something that 
I earn, I earn every meal with 32 ounces. So I already drank 32 ounces of water before I get to eat any of this. Um, but when I'm caught up on my water all day long, I let myself have a few different little drinks. Here's one of them is like Propel Gatorade, Gatorade Propel Waters, um, Perrier Waters. And then these I've been allowing myself that don't seem to cause me any problems. Gatorade Zero. Yay, so tasty. Um, sugar is not in the top three ingredients. And it's just a little something to make me feel like I'm drinking something more fun than water every once in a while. Okay, here is one of my go-tos. I take a little jar like this and I put, I start chopping up apple right down into it. And I put about three ounces and then some cinnamon and then another three ounces and more cinnamon. I put a coffee filter on top and stick it um, in the microwave for two minutes. So, um, especially when it's freezing cold out and I want warm fruit, um, that is just cinnamon apples, so quick, so easy, and so delicious. And when it comes out of the microwave, it is boiling, literally, be careful, boiling hot, and you can set it aside and eat your meal and then have that for dessert. So there's that. And then I'm now going to attach at the end of this video um, all my little steps for making um, pork tenderloin in the Instant Pot. And you guys, this is my very favorite way to cook. Massive amounts, super simple, leftovers for days. So you know I'm feeding an army around here and I don't love cooking because I don't love cleaning the mess afterwards. Um, and I don't bake, you know, there's no sugar, no flour. So my kids get lots and lots of bright meals and then we add buttery buttered toast or we add mac and cheese or we add something for them, you know, something extra. Um, some weight gaining foods for all these kids growing, growing boys and girls. Um, but my favorite is just some meat and some vegetables. So I will steam a giant pot of broccoli and make some pork tenderloin or, um, put a bunch of chicken and taco seasoning, um, in the instant pot and have like taco, whatever Mexican meals. So anyways, I'll add that so easy pork tenderloin, salt, pepper, onion, garlic, and some rosemary. 35 minutes, you're good to go. So there's all that. I hope this helped. And I just wanted to share because I'm realizing, wow, something's really working. And that is one of many things that are really working for me right now. Not allowing any little um, gateway behaviors to cause cracks in uh, what I am working hard to keep strong and in place. So love you guys. Have a great night.